You know, I never we never really talked about how to lead or leadership stuff. You know, Ray did his thing. You know, and that didn't matter. So um, I was never a guy who cared about the fame and the limelight. You know, and always just knew what it took to be successful. You know, my first team was my family. You know, and making sure that you know we were all good we had to work together my dad taught me that you know you take care of home first you know the locker room that's my home that's our home you know that's for the players you know so whether I hung with every guy or not you know there was a part of this team and they're going to have a lot to do with what kind of success we have you know and it's a game we playing so you better make sure everybody's on point you know, not just the guys who, who get the check. You know, so and you got to understand that the guys that don't get the check, they they struggling. They struggle a little bit. They got family to take care of just like you do. Like, it's the little thing that we talked about. Ray and I talked about it plenty of times. It's the little thing, you know, that you need to do to win a championship. Your environment controls your success. You know, the people you surround yourself with, it, it affects you, it controls, you know, what you're going to be doing, you know, years to come, days to come. I'm going to take this one back to the crib, you heard? makes life so interesting. The theory of evolution claims only the strong shall survive. Maybe so. Maybe so. But the theory of competition says just because they're the strong doesn't mean they can't get their asses kicked. That's right. See, what every long shot come from behind underdog will tell you is this. The other guy may in fact be the favorite. The odds may be stacked against you, fair enough. But what the odds don't know is this isn't a math test. This is a completely different kind of test. One where passion has a funny way of trumping logic. So before you step up to the starting line, before the whistle blows and the clock starts ticking, just remember out here, the results don't always add up. No matter what the stats may say, and the experts may think, and the commentators may have predicted, when the race is on, all bets are off. Don't be surprised if somebody decides to flip the script and take a pass on yelling uncle. And then suddenly, as the old saying goes, we got ourselves a game. 